stress, so I know where it's at. Only when you tryna see ya. Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, hi, my name is Abby and welcome to my channel. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can see more and more of my content. In today's vlog, I'm actually going to be doing hair on camera. Like I don't usually do hair on camera, but I was like, you know what, today could be different. Okay, we're actually using human hair. You wanna know what human hair I'm using? Let me show you. I'm using Y wigs to do this video and they are really good because not only do they come with 100% human hair. They come with a few items in your in your bag. You have crochet needle and you have a detangling brush. Like, who you know do that? Who you know do that? Hey you guys, I actually have no idea what I was talking about in the vlog, but let me really explain what it is. So basically, Y Wigs is a hair company where they sell a lot of hair products like wigs, transparent laces, human hair for boho knowledge, and different hair types and a variety of colors you could choose from. And obviously in the vlog, we're using the human hair for the boho knot list. So Wild Wiggle was actually sweet enough to send me a pack of hair to use for my boho knot list on my little client, whatever, right? It gave me the EA Human Hair Bulk Hair 20 inch natural color deep wave. It also did provide this Nice pink detangling comb and a claw clip and a crochet stick just in case. If you want to order your Y Wigs hair, make sure you go to the website and buy it now as they're very cheap. But yeah, this is what I'm going to use for today. And I'm going to show you guys how I do it because a lot of you guys, some of you guys knew I did hair and y'all have questions. So I'm going to just give y'all like a tutorial, okay? But y'all, it's 2.15 and she was supposed to be here at 1.30. One thing about her, she's always late like me, so I really don't have a problem. The only thing is that she's gonna sit, she's gonna sit down, okay? She's gonna sit down for a good few hours because, you know, like I, I'm a beginner. So here's my beautiful into hair, right? And I did start off by roughly parting from ear to ear. I thought I was gonna pre-part, but that never happened. That was actually a problem because then the parts became messed up. But that's my pre-part. And I use gummy wax, which I don't really recommend because it does turn white. Um, this is my second time using it. My mom used it for my hair for back to school. And it was actually white, so I really don't recommend. I recommend neat braid, but I ran out, y'all. So here's what I'm using, okay? Like I said, I was gonna pre-part, but I feel like that was too time-consuming, which was actually the worst mistake I made because my parts have never been this messed up. But then I actually clean up the part because that's where I started with doing the braids. So I start by actually combing the back of the head with uh, the gel because I do want it to be really neat. I don't want it to mess up the flow of my braiding, right? So I did put some in the bag before I started braiding and I combed it out so it could be nice and smooth. She did want medium parts, like small slash medium parts, right? Um, so I did part the back in half so I could have two lines. She actually did provide this expression hair. Um, so I used it, although it wasn't her color, but it still actually kind of came out cute at the end. So I'm right here. I'm just trying to pairing for my little braids or whatever. I then parted into three sections because in medium knotless braids, you need to part the back in three or four. And I did decide three because yo, I take my time. So I was trying to get it done fast as possible. The first braid was obviously not the best, but the rest two did kind of good. So then I parted, well, I pre-parted the rest and twisted them so I won't get mixed up because I do really get mixed up with my parts. This is when I get the curls and then I start prepping them by adding some gel at the top of it so it wouldn't be hard for me to braid. Okay, so first I braid normal hair twice before I get a little piece of hair and feed it in, right? Then I do the same process four times, meaning I braid with the extension hair twice again, and then I add more four times, okay? It's really not that hard to do knotless braids. That's literally all it is, and just feed in hair, okay?
oh girl i thought that was a cockroach but <laughs> i feed in my curly piece and then when i feed it in i braid a couple of times before i take the curly piece and leave it out so i won't braid it with the actual braid if you have an extra piece of the tip sticking out make sure you cut it guys okay Over here, I am starting to part ear to ear because I did not pre-part, y'all. So, I feel like parting from ear to ear will be easier. And my parts were still messed up at the end, so that didn't really help. So, I really suggest pre-parting, y'all. It doesn't matter how much time it takes. Do it! Around the top set of braids, I did decide, or well, I did start adding three pieces of curly pieces because um, she didn't want that fullness, but she didn't want it too full, okay? So, we started adding the curly pieces three times at the top and only once or twice at the bottom. Y'all, we finally got to our last spray. Mind you, we started at like 2.30 and we ended like around 10, y'all. I'm telling y'all, I take my time. But ain't no shame in my game. Well, there is a shame in my game because y'all, them parts, ooh, girl. But it still came out really cute at the end. Like I said, at the top of the head, I started adding three pieces of curly pieces to make it fuller and better looking, okay? And yes, y'all, I'm going to show you guys the finished results because it actually came out so cute. Look at her. Happy she done. <laughs> this is actually the finished results without being dipped in hot water. And just to let you guys know, the hair is safe being dipped in hot water because it's human hair. So it won't mess up the curls. Anyways, this is it without being dipped in hot water. And this is it with being dipped in hot water. You can't really see the difference because I didn't show the ends. But it came out so cute, y'all. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more and more content. This content was a little bit different than all of my other content because I don't know. But yes, y'all, if you guys enjoy seeing more of my videos, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. And I'm going to see you in the next videos. Bye, guys. I love you so much. And don't forget to shop at White Wigs.